from Wimbledon High School and uh, the two girls, Emma and Phoebe, from uh, Westminster and Ely make up the rest of the field. Um, but really out the front of the field, Molly's been out the front with clear water for a long time. And actually, um, it was uh, Jessica Reed from Bedford Modern who was giving the, the best challenge early on. But as we come to 750 metres to go, Olivia from uh, um, Ship Lake College, Olivia Morgan, has really just been slowly and quietly sculling a really great little race, um, tying with her Lauren Ho um, Henry from uh, Leicester Rowing Club, just bringing them all back together. And really, Molly, Molly's gone off very, um, very well, but it's a case of whether she can maintain that through these last kind of 600 metres to go, I think, which is what we've, what we've got to go here. Um, a nice little um, tailwind, as you can see, the flabs just flapping, not, not, too, uh, not too strong or um, too much of a distraction, but just whipping the boats along, making sure they hold on to those finishes. And Olivia um, Morgan from Ship Lake College has just been in a really good spurt, and I think that might actually be in response to, to Lauren Henry's little spurt, which has brought them up to overlap with Molly. I tell you this, Sander, we've got 500 metres remaining and the three athletes who are going to take the medals have long since been sorted because the pace that is set by this leading trio has just blown the rest of the field away. Still Molly Curry holding on to the lead by clear water, but there's just half a length separating Olivia Morgan and Lauren Henry. And the uh, Leicester athlete going for another little bit of a push. She glanced across to her left. She can see the wake of Morgan's sculling boat over to her left. She knows she's in with a shout for silver. This is looking close, Zander. I tell you, it might even things change so quickly in single sculls that we could even have a complete change has has Molly left enough in the tank in the last 300 meters or so to really fend off these uh, these attacks from these two and it's Olivia uh, Morgan who seems to be really at risk of losing that silver spot she has a glance over her shoulder sees where Molly is and says do you know what I think I've still got a shout at this and both of them have just gone up a, another pit they're still not giving up on that gold medal if you were in their heads you'd know this I can still win this and they definitely can here comes Lauren here comes Olivia can Molly hold them off with 250 metres to go? We're inside the last 250. Lauren Henry has just about drawn level with Olivia Morgan for silver and bronze, but Molly Curry really working it so hard. She's still hanging on to a clear water lead with 150 metres remaining here in the Championship Girls Single Skulls. And here comes another charge from um, uh, Henry and Morgan. They really are going to try and uh, close that gap but Kerry is seeing them off, and still it's Olivia Morgan for Shiplake. This is great news for our fellow commentator, Greg Davis, the Shiplake headmaster, in his final term. And here he is right alongside, watching... Uh those girls go, but I think Lauren has just pulled that back from Leicester. It's going to pass over the tower. It's too close to call. Yeah, well, Zander, I think you may be right, but Molly Curry is no doubting the fact that she's won. Molly has not, uh, Molly has won it, but Lauren Henry has come through and gained silver from Olivia Morgan. It was all too much for Olivia, but um, no doubting the fact that Molly Curry from Coleraine Grammar School in Ireland has won the Championship Girls Single Skulls, and in second place, the fast fin finishing Lauren Henry, and in third place, Olivia Morgan from Ship Lake College. So that was the one, two, three of the Championship Girls Single Skulls. Cracking race at the end.